Hello, my name is Alex, and this talk is titled A New Meaning for Disco Beats. So, to start, you're probably all wondering why I'm wearing a mask. For starters, it's because I'm a representative of an idea. It's not important what my face is, but also because I get a lot of abuse and threats for what I'm doing. My collaborators and I are regularly referred to as scum or sniveling weaklings. We even get death threats. Fucking die, you bunch of shits. Was probably one of the most pleasant of the many messages that I get through. So what could a 21-year-old student be saying to be getting this sort of abuse? Fifteen months ago, I joked that EDL could stand for something other than English Defence League. I joked that it could stand for English disco lovers. At the time, I was on a camping trip with friends, and we were just joking around. And it came up, you know, it was said, English disco lovers, haha, -ha, wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be great if people, when they heard EDL, thought of disco as opposed to the English Defence League. For those of you unfamiliar with the group, they describe themselves as a peaceful protest movement demonstrating against Islamic extremism. In reality, they're far from it. Their demonstrations are associated with hate speech. The group themselves are commonly accused of doing more to propagate hatred and extremism than they do to combat it. The demonstrations often end in violence and with damage to public property. So you can understand that there's a lot of hatred around these three letters. People think of racism, Islamophobia, violence, sexism, when they think of EDL. What I wanted was to change that. I wanted people to think of positive things, of equality and peace and community when they heard the acronym. This all came out of a joke, and it's quite peculiar, to be honest, because it was something so by chance that became lodged in my head. The three letters, they were just there, and there were these words. And I felt compelled to do something like, it was as if there was more substance to it than a one-liner. I started to doodle logos um, based on the English Defence League one, sort of making it disco and subverting it. I dreamt up a manifesto based on the, uh, the utopian vision of the disco genre. Why disco? That's something I always get asked in interviews. People say to me, couldn't you have been any D? Why aren't you English duvet lovers? <laughs> and, and as much as duvets are lovely and warm and part of the reason why I was almost late this morning, there's a political potency to disco. It has a long history of bringing together minority groups. The original discotheques were populated by black, Hispanic, and homosexual people. As a result of these incredibly diverse crowds, the lyrics of disco songs are intrinsically about people coming together, loving each other, regardless of their color, or their sexuality, or their gender, or anything that could divide them. They were a haven for acceptance. Sadly, in 1979, there was a campaign called Disco Sucks. It scapegoated the genre and made it a target for racism and homophobia. Almost overnight, disco vanished from the dance floors and from the radio playlists. So in some ways, you could say that English disco lovers is appropriating the genre in an attempt to turn those tables where racism has taken away music, we're bringing it back as a weapon against xenophobia. You could say that we're giving new meaning to disco beats. So how was I going to do this? I, I wanted to change it in the public mind. I wanted EDL to go from being racism in your mind 
to community work and fun. For me, it was natural for it to begin online. I started, you know, when I was 11 or 12 on MSN, Bebo, MySpace, now Facebook and Twitter. The internet is such a massive part of my life and social media was naturally the way that I was going to try and make some sort of change. The internet's proven to be incredibly important for so many campaigns. The Arab Spring, for example, was started through, well, partly through social media posts and interactions. But I'm not saying I'm going to try and start some sort of revolution, but what I am trying to do is tackle xenophobia in a positive manner with a peaceful form of protest. The initial idea was to Google bomb the EDL search term. So the idea was, if any of you typed EDL into the Google search, my website would come up first. You'd have English disco lovers right up at the top. Um, so temporarily in September, um, we actually did hold that top spot. Um, it was sadly the result of uh, a hack by some anonymous activists. Um, and I had nothing to do with that, actually. <laughs> but for about, about a week, we held this top spot. And um, whilst we slipped back now, it only helped to gain the group more interest and to spur me on. Aside from the Google ranking, we've got about 58,000 Facebook likes and 10,000 Twitter followers, because that's another part of it, social media bombing. The idea is to have more Facebook likes, more Twitter followers, a higher Google ranking. It's, essentially, it's a popularity contest. But I don't know, it, it, can, it can be dismissed as clicktivism, a kind of very easy way of doing it. You know, you do your thing, you click, and you get this nice warm feeling. But it doesn't actually mean a huge amount. So what's most important is what those clicks have actually led to. We've gone from being an online presence with a whole load of Facebook likes and a whole load of Twitter followers to an actual presence at Counter English Defence League demonstrations. Today, there are a good hundred English disco lovers in flares and sequin tops and big Afro wigs in Exeter, demonstrating against the English Defence League as part of a celebration of diversity. This is one of the memes that I share on Facebook. I've sort of gone off the script that I gave, but uh, so we have all sorts of slogans, things that people want to share, people enjoy them. There are things like fewer xenophobes, more crazy strobes, or don't listen to Nazi sympathizers, dance along to synthesizers. <laughs> we are, are, are kind of motto is don't hate, gyrate. <laughs> and people come along to the demonstrations all dressed up and they, they hold placards aloft that proclaim racism equals hate, disco equals great, and don't hate, gyrate, and all the other slogans. Uh, I think we've probably got some photos from the demonstrations. If we go to, oh, this is a meme from when we got the Google ranking. There we go, two guys there. This is from one in Birmingham. Um, this one is actually from a music video shoot that we did at a demonstration. Uh, the music video follows a stereotypical English Defence League member. Um, he's preparing for a demonstration. He shaves his head. He drapes the St George's cross over his shoulders. He salutes Winston Churchill, a, a painting of him, that is. And he then goes and he meets his friends at the pub. On their way to the demonstration, they manage to get separated from their group and find themselves lost in the city. And they're going around and they're trying to find their demonstration and they end up at ours. And there's this moment where you kind of worry what's going to happen, but they're overcome by the music and they join in with the dancing. And I don't think I've ever seen an English Defence League member do a jumping splits, but it was quite something. Um, another way 
in which we support diversity and subvert the acronym is that we do a lot of charity events. We put on charity discos. Um, so, well, one of the most successful to date was uh, at Dalston Superstore, where we were raising money for Hackney Pirates, a local education charity, and for um, All Out, an LGBT charity. So where the English Defence League will turn up and they will cause divisions in your community, they will cause damage to public property and cause tensions between people of different races. Um, we like to turn up and bring people together, give something back to the community. And venues and DJs are always really keen to get involved. We get top DJs and wonderful venues pretty much for free because they're keen to support their community and to give back through their area of expertise. Um, so to end, English Disco Lovers has become about more than satirizing the EDL acronym. It's become a symbol for diversity, for community work. This year we were even nominated for the National, National Diversity Awards. The group's only been going 15 months and it's run almost entirely from my laptop. Like, it's, it's completely unfunded, I'm a student. Um, it's basically whatever I can scrape together. But it, it's creativity, it's determination, it's people coming forward to support the idea and to support love over hate. So, all right, thank you. <laughs>